In this interview with Mel Jean Brooke, the author takes us behind the scenes of her sexy Guardian series. The Guardian series is basically about um, these men and women, always men and women, who um, died sacrificing themselves and because of that sacrifice um, they've been able to become guardians which are these angelic beings. They're not angels but they have angelic powers and their purpose is to stop the demons from tempting people and uh, you know, to save people from going to hell or from dying. I, I think hell sometimes is a is a worse is a worse fate in this world because it, there are real consequences to making terrible choices where you burn and are tortured. And um, so the guardians try to save them from that. And in, along the way, they they fall in love and and um, fight amongst themselves and and uh, fight dragons and all kinds of other things. <laughs> When I first was discovered, um, actually discovered is the correct word, I didn't submit stories, I think like most writers do. I had been in graduate school and I was writing fan fiction on the side because I needed to be writing uh, fiction and, um, and I was obsessed, I think obsessed is a fair word, because I was totally obsessed with Wonder Woman and Batman. And so I started writing romance stories about Wonder Woman and Batman and it was also a great opportunity for me to actually practice writing because although I had been writing for a long time, I never actually finished anything. And so I sat myself down one day and I just said, okay, if you're gonna, if you're gonna do this writing thing, I want you to finish something. At one point, I had um, started writing a fanfic about Batman and Wonder Woman again, um, but I was set in an alternate universe, which was based on the Milton Paradise Lost, which I was studying in a class, and I realized that this was just, you know, it was too big of a story. And so I changed the characters, um, and I was working on that when I got an email from Cindy Huang from Penguin, and um, she said, I really enjoy your fanfic. Do you have something for me? And I said, oh my God, I have this story I've been working on. And so I sent it to her and she said, oh, this has a lot of problems. But um, she said, I'm really interested in this world. And so can you send me something else? And so I got my um, first contract then. It was for Falling for Anthony, set in the same world, which I called The Guardians. And that was in the Hot Spell Anthology. And then I reworked the story that had originally started as a fanfic became something else, became bigger, and then finally ended up uh, being Demon Angel with um, Lilith and Hugh. Um, Lilith was um, the demon character and Hugh was this guardian character. And um, that's kind of how it started. At the core of the series is, um, is some concepts uh, that Milton discussed in his work, uh, which is about free will and predestination and um, whether the choices we make um, matter or not. And I'm saying in this series, yes, our choices are all that matters. Within the next couple of books, uh, Demon Blood comes out in July, and then I plan two more full-length Guardian books after that. And the final one will be Michael's book, and I, I plan to have like a huge showdown. I think I've taking some chances with it in some really terrible things happening, but I think it's worth it in the end. Uh, there's a good payoff, and I think anyone who follows along, the ending will be a great payoff. <laughs>